add and subtract, multiply and divide fractions. Now, this is a very big topic, but I'm just going to go through some basics with some examples and then some practice questions. Um, and I'm going to do all ones with, with mixed numbers so that you can deal with any situation. So this first one, uh, 1 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 3 fifths. Well, when you're adding with mixed numbers, you can just add the, the whole numbers separately. So that's just going to be 4 plus 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. So we're really just dealing with the 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. And then we'll add that answer to 4. Now, when we're adding 2 thirds and 3 fifths, we need to make them out of a common denominator. And the common denominator, quite often, is the two numbers multiplied by each other because that's the, often the smallest number they both go into. So 3 times 5 is 15. Is there a smaller number both 3 and 5 go into? Well, there isn't. If I'm changing 2 thirds into 15 ths, if I think about, um, for this one I'm just going to show you, if you think about all the um, equivalent fractions that are thirds, you'll see that once you've multiplied by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 2 times this, 3 times, 4 times, and then 5 times. You get 10 over 15. So 2 thirds is the same as 10 over 15. And then we've got uh, 3 fifths, and fifths go into 15 3 times. So we times the top by 3 to get 9. And that gives us 19 fifteenths. I must put the 4 plus that in there and therefore 19 fifteenths is 1 and 4 fifteenths so we've got 4 plus 1 makes 5 and 4 fifteenths okay subtracting um, you can do the whole numbers and then work out the fractions but often that the second fraction is bigger than the first one you'll end up with a negative number which you can deal with but it's quite often it's much easier just to think about these as top heavy fractions so let's try that so 3 and 1 fifth can be changed into fifth into um, three is going to be fifteen fifths plus one makes sixteen fifths. So we've got sixteen over five minus uh, one and seven and two sevenths. So one is seven sevenths and two sevenths makes nine sevenths. And from there we need to change to thirty fifths. Seven five's going to thirty five seven times and seven sixteens seven six is a forty two seven one is a seven plus four is eleven seven goes into thirty five five times five nines are forty five so we've got one hundred and twelve minus forty five which is seventy sixty seven let's just check that make seventy two plus 4 is 112 over 35 so that's 1 and we've got uh, 3 less than 35 which is 32 over 35 okay multiplying again best to change the top heavy fractions so um, the quickest way to do that is to times the whole number by the, the denominator and add the numerator so 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 7 thirds 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 7 quarters. And then we've got to multiply those two together. 7 times are 49. 3 fours are 12. 12 into 49 go 4 times, because 4 eights, four twelves are 48, and 1 left over, so 4 and 1 twelfth. Dividing, again, change them into top heavy fractions. Two six uh, two six is twelve plus five is seventeen over six divided by one times five is five plus two is seven over five and then this is the the key to dividing fractions is when you want to divide by a fraction you just multiply by the reciprocal which is that fraction turned upside down. So we end up with 17 times 5, 7, 5 is 35, and so that makes 85 over 42. And we double 42, we get 84, so it's 2 and 1 over 42. So not particularly nice questions, but the method is pretty much the same always. So, have a go at these questions, 
I shall pause the video and I shall uh, show you how to do it in a minute. Okay, so 2 plus 1 is 3, put them out of 20, uh, 3 5 is 15, 4 2 is 8, so that's 23 out of 20, 3 and 23 out of 20, which is 4 and 3 twentieths. Change this top heavy fraction, so 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 1 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Um, make them out of 15. 13 times 5 is going to be 65. 3 8 is 24. Subtract those, we get 41. And then we divide 15 into 41, we get 2 and 11 fifteenths. Next one. Change it to the top heavy again. So 7 plus 2 is 9 over 7 times 2 5 is 10 plus 4 is 14 over 5. Okay, a little tip to try and s to help you a little bit here is when you're multiplying fractions, if if you can cancel anything on the top with anything on the bottom, then it will save you having to do the difficult multiplication. So let me just show you that on this one 7 and 14, 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 14 twice. So this is just the same as 18 over 5. Whereas if you did it this way, you get 90 plus 36, which is 126 over 35. And then you'd have to figure out what goes into both of those and cancel that down. Whereas if you sit here, you should know that 7 goes into both because it cancelled out earlier. So you'd end up with 18 over 5, which is um, 3 and 3 fifths. Then we've got three and a half, which is seven over two, divided by five and two is seven over five, which is seven over two times five over seven. Remember, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That's when you turn it upside down. And again, we can cancel the sevens to leave, leave us with one times five is five, and one times two is two. Or you could get thirty-five over fourteen and then divide by seven to get five over two. That's two and a half.